What's going on guys and gals? My name's Sean, and if you landed here, you're watching Scar My Guitar. What's up everybody? Good to see you back. Now, we've been going on Amazon, checking out cheap guitars for the longest. But I gotta tell you something, there's another spot that's just as sweet as Amazon, and it's called eBay. And me personally, I'm a Telecaster, Stratocaster guy. I love those two style guitars. I always have, I'm always gonna. And as far as Telecasters and Strat cheap guitars go, looks like I've cleaned all those options out on Amazon. But I'm gonna tell you something right now. What I'm about to show you is killing those Amazon guitars because I got this. And what this is, is a guitar from a company called Cozart. It's got a pretty nice flame maple veneer on it. But we played this in the live video and I gotta tell you, man, that neck is romping. I don't know how they're getting away with that fender headstock shape. Now there's no flame or nothing in this neck, but man, it's got some nice figuring. Those tuners are cheap, but they seem to work pretty good. It's got a real nice C shape to the neck. And I think that's Polonia wood. I don't care what kind of wood it is. I love that grain. Did y'all see what I just seen? Dang it, man. I guess you say that Cozart. It's got that Fender headstock. This guitar is nice looking too, look. I like the way they put the binding around it to make that veneer look like a real cap. This thing's beautiful. But the best thing about it is, is it plays really good. This is straight out of the box. I haven't done anything to this. Still got the same strings on it. I can tell it needs intonated. I'm sure you guys can too. Yeah, this thing's pretty fat. Now hang on just a dang minute. Bro, you already told us that thing's killer. What do we need to do this review for? Now, I don't know if you ever heard this before or not, but I'm gonna say it to you. You can't judge a book by its cover. So we gotta tear this thing apart. That's gonna be enough flip flapping. Let's make it happen. All right, let's get these old cheap strings off of here, man. I guess I might make y'all watch this today. No, I'm just kidding. Now I notice these tuners are nice and smooth. There was a couple of them that the screw is a little loose. I could tell. What's this one? Just take a little Phillips head and tighten them up. Yeah, he was good and loose. Much better. Now before we take this bridge off, now it's got holes for top load down there. But it also has holes for strength through the body. Huh. Let's take it off. I'm curious to see if we can fit a regular Telecaster pickup here if it's routed for that too. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if that'll fit a Tele pickup or not, but it's awfully big for a humbucker. But the humbucker has nothing on it. Yeah, it does. It's got a B10 on it. See that? B-10. Let's see what's inside the mystery cavity. It's got them little dime-sized pots in it. Those are fine, though. They work good. Nothing wrong with those. $150 guitar. You know we gotta take the neck off. Alright, get your bets on. We got a hole under here? Is there a hole? Yes or no? Yep. It's not that big though. Man, look at that neck fitting in the pocket. 
<laughs> wow, dude. No shim. And doesn't need one. And not a lot of trash in there either. Nice. Let's look at that again. Yeah. That fits good. Look. It's holding it up. With the tuners on it. That's a good neck fit. Excellent guitar, man. Now, we already know this thing sounds farty from the live video. But we'll go ahead and check it anyway. Here we go. Bridge position. It's hot. 1206. But it sounds terrible. Let's look in the middle. Wow. 395. Neck. 5.81. I don't know what none of that means, but I know they don't sound great. Yeah, this pickup's super cheaply made. I don't even know what kind of metal this is. But look at the wire hanging off. So I got something better to go in there. Oh, little JB. Yeah, we'll put this in there. Yeah, I just wanted to free that from there instead of clipping it. Don't want any extra wire around there. Now I got three layers of painter's tape. I'm going to put them right here on the back. It's going to help us prevent any tear out for what I'm about to do. Let's go do it. Yeah, those guys came out pretty clean. I'm pretty happy with that. But I'm going to use this to make sure we don't get any tear out later. Watch. See what that is? It's just a little beveling bit. It's really a countersink bit. I wanted to get this started with the tape on it first. I'm going to go ahead and do this some more. Try to take that finish off so it don't crack. Now I'm going to mark the depth on my drill bit with a piece of tape. Just to be certain we don't go too deep in here. Yeah, we don't need to be going too deep. Now I ain't got no gold ones, these silver ones will have to do.
smack them in there too hard, they'll crack that finish. There's no ground wire going to the bridge. Definitely can't have that. Okay, I'll start using the right tool for you guys instead of them pliers. I know it drives you crazy. Just so you know, I do have the right tools. I just like messing with y'all. We're just going to transfer these over. Quick like. This won't take us but a hot little minute. That's a cool new feature, huh? <laughs> all right, here we are. We got the Cozart all put back together. Dressed him up a little bit. Gave him some string through the body action. Little J.B. Seymour Duncan. And I polished him frets off camera. But let's listen. Yeah, man, this thing sounds pretty sweet. Let's turn it up a little bit. That's full on humbucker. Let's pull the coil. what you want your tally to sound like right there. thing sounds good all right so what do i think about the cozart i think this is one of the best playing cheap guitars that i've ever played in my entire life ever now cozart didn't pay me to say that either kathy bought that guitar from ebay with our own money but i'm not lying when i tell you that that thing has a perfect c-shaped profile neck just like any fender i've ever played it's beautiful radius fretboard man the frets are in great shape i mean the guitar is rocking what does it need Tuners and pickups. That's it. Oh yeah, here's something else I forgot to mention. That guitar probably don't weigh five pounds. That Palawina body's probably about two and a half pounds. And I don't know who Cozart is or who makes those guitars, but they're doing a dang good job. You hear what that thing sounds like with that Seymour Duncan in it. Like I said, man, it plays just as good as any Fender I've ever put my hands on. All right, I told you in the video yesterday, we're going to be live tonight, Wednesday, 8 p.m. That's tonight. That's not a week from now when you see this video. That's tonight. Now that's going to be it for this one. I hope to see you tonight in the live video. But until I do see you again, don't you touch my scar guitar. Don't you touch my scar guitar.